Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I want to talk about this first because I feel like it encompasses the energies of, you know, other like spiritual advice and other things going on in your life. But also I'm seeing a couple here. So for those of you in coupled relationships, I want to talk to you about this first before I go into the um, the reading for love and romance. Okay, this looks really, really smooth. This looks a little bit rough. So I want to talk about this first and spend more time on it. Um, if you are living with somebody, and I have here the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in a house situation. I also have here the Temperance card, which is you losing your temper. It's your card. Five of Cups is also sadness and regrets. There are definitely some deep-rooted issues and anxieties regarding money. Okay, and the universe just wants you to know that there will be other people coming in, offering you financial resources, offering you financial assistance, offering you um, even like financial gifts. So I don't feel that you need to worry so much about your financial situation. For those of you in between jobs and you've gone on interviews multiple times and you're just like, why aren't they calling me back? You know, like, uh, I'm skilled, I'm qualified. Why am I not getting the jobs? Why am I not getting the contracts? Why am I not getting the clients? They're telling you to really be patient because you have new projects that are coming through. You could potentially have a new job offer or promotion or something like that that's coming into the picture. So whatever delays you are experiencing, don't fret over it because it's going to be made up for you, okay? So Saturn is completely out of your sign. You should start to see snippets of new energy, like the birthing process, you know, new leaves coming out, uh, poking out of the branches in the springtime. So I feel like they're saying everything is being delayed for a reason, but what's coming for you is going to be a lot better. So trust in the process. Don't settle for the first thing that comes into the picture because you're scared, because you've been waiting, and because whatever you want, it didn't work out the uh, past few times, so now you're scrambling for that first opportunity, when the first opportunity might not be the best opportunity. So they're saying, you know, be have faith that everything that is meant for you will kind of neatly work itself out. The universe is working behind the scenes to ensure that you're going to get something amazing something that is a right fit for you as a fire sign rather than something that is right for everybody else but might not be appropriate for you okay um i'm seeing as well there's this energy here as as to you know um if you have an a, like a a partner in business or a partner that you're living with there's a, a balancing act that needs to happen and it, it feels almost like the two of you have been so bogged down with work, has been so bogged down with responsibilities that the relationship feels almost like a business relationship rather than a true partnership where there's friendship, where there is um, uh, love, where there is, you know, chemistry. So it, it feels like the relationship is a financial transaction and you want more from it. It could be, you know, somebody in your work environment and you're just like, it's always work, 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 work. I want to move things along with this person. So that's what it feels like to me. Or like if you're sharing space, if you're living together with a, with, um, a significant other, it feels like somebody is keeping score, like keeping, you know, I bought this last week, you should buy this this week. And it takes away the spontaneity and the, the love in the relationship. So I feel like you're keeping scores with somebody or somebody is doing that to you. And everything needs to be like 50-50 and it feels almost like it's a business transaction. And then I'm also feeling, you know, uh, with the Five of Cups and the Temperance card. This is dealing with a lot of sadness and regrets. Dealing as well, third party situation, okay? So like you might be in between two people that are already in an established relationship and you need to kind of wean, away, uh, wean yourself away from that because it's really clearly not working. 
and I feel like you've arrived at a decision that you know this is not really serving my higher highest good. The other person is never going to leave their wife and their two kids. So I need to be smarter about this, and I need to just keep、um, leave it alone. And if you've already made up your mind, this is the week where they come in to solicit you, and so it's put you at square one. So I feel like there are a lot of cyclical things that are happening, and it's telling you to be patient, and it's telling you you are feeling what you're feeling, mainly because you're operating from a space where you feel like you don't deserve more, and whatever emotions that you feel for the other person, and you're like, no, it's love. I feel like you're settling. I feel like you convince yourself that it's love. Mainly because whatever it is that you want is not coming fast enough, and you've been so patient, you've been waiting for so long. So this offer comes into the picture, or this attraction comes into the picture, and you feel like, oh, it's the one. But what is right for you, as a fire sign? What is right for Sagittarius? It's going to be coming in a little bit later. So this is kind of like a test to see if you're willing to settle for less. Rather than to settle for something that's appropriate for you, okay.、Um, whatever relationship that other people have, don't compare yourself to their relationship. So if you're single and all of your friends are coupled up, you're like, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. It's just they choose to be coupled up, or the timing is right for them, or maybe it's a karmic lesson that they need to learn about partnership. And so if you are You know, like、um, if you feel like, what? When is my time gonna come? Your time is gonna come whenever you get over this, and whenever you operate at your best, and whenever you start trusting in the universe and start trusting in your intuition. Okay.、Um, you have some good things coming in Sagittarius, so you kind of need to face the right direction and start looking at life. Rather than being evasive or living in the past, okay. So turn your attention this way. Look towards the、uh, the future, and you're gonna have some really good things coming in, dashing in for you. So I'm gonna go into your love relationship situation right now. I feel, oops, excuse me. I feel like there is a very very severe like、uh, love hate relationship that you have with another person. They might be.、Um, And the reason I say that too is、uh, we have here the Five of Wands. Five of Wands.、Um, this is a card about conflict. This is a card about opposites attract. This is also a card about not seeing eye to eye with another person, and also really intense attraction that you have between another person. So these two people, they're fighting under the guise that they're fighting, but they're very, very close to each other. So it's like a, a really strong. Sexual chemistry that we have with another person, where they drive us nuts, right? Like you, you might be experiencing the, this with a, another person, where ideologically you guys have nothing in common. Somebody I feel might be very materialistic, and somebody is very carefree. And guess which one you are? So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very status oriented. Who's very possibly quite materialistic? They identify their worth by the things that they own, and I don't feel Sagittarius people identify, you know, their worth by the things that they possess. I feel like you are the most, you know, non-materialistic signs of the zodiac, and you care about higher ideals. You care about doing the right thing. You care about integrity. You care about taking the high road, and you could care less for materialism. But I feel like the other person is very, very different from you, and as a result of that, it creates a very dynamic interaction between you and them. It sparks a lot of chemistry, but there's also a lot of conflict. The person that you're dealing with, we have here the King of Pentacles, possibly an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or the energy that they embody. Is that they're very prim and proper. They're very business oriented. They're very professional. They are somebody as well that a lot of people come to for advice. I I see I see somebody who's like、um, really good at offering practical advice, but they haven't lived the way that you've lived. 
okay? They might be giving advice that's not appropriate for you. Once again, just because it works for them doesn't mean it works for you. You're different from them. And you know, overall, like um, life advice needs to be very individualized because what works for this earth sign might not work for a Sagittarius. So I feel like you you admire this person. They seem to be very handsome, and I see like darker features with this person. Could be、um, you know like darker hair, darker eyes, darker skin. Someone who's really really who takes care of their physique. They might go to the gym. They might work out. They they watch what they eat. They're very disciplined. They're very like on the straight and narrow path. And I feel like. They're not overly emotional. You can never read. It's like a poker face. You can't read what's going on in their mind. And you know, keep in mind they can be male or female, and they embody these traits. They're very business oriented, very professional, and so they never slip up. They never let emotional things, entanglements, affect them, and they make decisions in a very rational way, in a very practical, possibly even calculating way. If this is a love partner or somebody that you are married to, there's a lot of conflict. A lot of conflict, and I feel as if there might be an opportunity for you to step out on the relationship temptation here with the King of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who's like the polar opposite. Whereas this person is calculating, this person is very generous. Whereas this person is very, very、uh, methodical, this person might be frivolous. So we are looking at kind of like oppositions here, and you're you might be attracted to somebody outside of your relationship who is like this, who is you know、uh, very romantic, who is very, very soft on the inside, who's、um, a great lover. Well, both of these guys can be, or both of these.、Um, Court cards can be male or female. They can be great lovers, but I feel like with this person, there's a lot more spontaneity. There's a lot more fun. There's a lot more innocence, and they they don't keep scores. They're not calculating, and I feel like there has been a lot of conflict with this person, mainly because the two of you don't really see eye to eye. They might feel that you're very frivolous, but either way, I feel like some of you. Might be waiting on this person, and this is the card where you know it's the Nine of Swords, so it's like waiting on pins and needles, okay, on a bed of nails, like waiting around for the other person. When is it going to happen for me? So I feel like for many of you, you've been single for quite some time. You're waiting for Mr. Right, and you're really dreaming, daydreaming, fantasizing about a person. You're fantasizing that, that you see them like this. But in your fantasies, they're like this, because I, I like the pink because it's sort of like that 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 fantasy. It's in a, a bubble, and it can be whatever you want it to be. So I feel like some of you are doing some heavy, heavy fantasizing, where you feel like you know one day they're gonna come and just sweep me off my feet. They're gonna make an offer towards me, but the reality is that it's it's in the daydreams, and the two of you. Have a lot of conflict. The two of you don't really see eye to eye. And what's really happening for this week is, if this is the case of somebody you're crushing on, somebody that you're thinking about, we have here the six of wands. This is a transformation of an energy. So we go from the five of wands into the six of wands. This is conflict. A lot of attraction, but a lot of conflict. It's getting resolved and it's being transmuted into the six of wands. Where you're jumping over trouble spots, you're sailing over, you know, like、uh, not not so much sailing. That's the sword energy, but it's like taking a moral high high ground, taking a moral road,、uh, being the bigger person, allowing to overcome these conflict, allowing each other to, hey, let's agree to disagree, or the. Conflict is sparked off by passion, and you both are going to do something about it. So rather than getting mired in the conflict, maybe you just you know come at each other in a different way, in a more amorous way, to allow the two of you to overcome this conflictual situation. I feel like somebody is making an offer to you. So 
I, I I'm seeing a lot of like pent up, you know, sexual pr- frustration between you and another person, and I feel like it's coming more from your end, Sagittarius, because the first card is your card where you're waiting on, you know, a bed of nails, like you're waiting on on pins and needles for the other person, and you're daydreaming. And the other person is not really making a move, and is making you very frustrated because you guys are so impatient. And then it creates a lot of friction in your everyday interaction or dealing with this person. You overcome it by taking a leap of faith, or they are the one making the offer towards you. Okay, this is a big offer here, and it's coming from from a place of sincerity. It's coming from a place of love. So I definitely see. Between the two of you, there is a lot of attraction. There's a lot of pent up sexual energy, frustration, and something is going to be done about it for this week. And、um, for those who are single and dating, I feel like you might be leaving behind an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel like this is a person that tries to、uh, control your movement. They're controlling. They like to tell you what you should do, and Sagittarius people hate that. And so I feel like you know you see it for what it is, and you're moving away, and you're moving on with a water sign, so a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others of you, there is a transformation here, a big leap, where you might be dealing with an Earth sign who is like very un unemotional, and this is the week where they start to show you the softer side of them. And it makes you fall for them even more. So they might have, you know, a combination of earth、um, and water in their chart. They could be an earth sign with water sign rising, water sign moon, whatever the combination is. And I feel like there is going to be somewhat of a coming together between you and another person. Okay. And、um, you know it's further corroborated here with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There's going to be a relationship that's、um, solidifying. You're going to be given a title, or somebody is making an offer towards you, and they're making it known that you know they want to make something happen with you. And then for those in relationships, definitely third parties. I have two kings in the picture, so temptation. Okay.、Um, I feel like for some of you, you're in a relationship where you feel a little bit like overlooked or ignored, and you might be seeking attention outside of the relationship. And I mentioned that for the Taurus reading for last week too. So you might be dealing with a Taurian person, but either way, the attraction is really, really strong. It's very, very strong. So if it's third party, you know,、um, like temptation. You might need to redirect that sexual energy towards your existing relationship partner, rather than scattering it outside of the relationship. Okay, that's just my personal advice. Not in the cards, but it's just my personal advice. So,、uh, Sagittarius, I wish you all the best. You've been getting really good love readings for the past few weeks. I don't know what you're doing, but、um, either way, you know, try to. Contain the relationship a little bit more. Okay, if you're scattering your energy to too many people, it can cause a lot of confusion for you. So just be careful about that. All right. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.